what's up everyone and welcome to today's Webflow Jam session. Um, so today there's not much to review, so hopefully I can keep it around five minutes. Um, there is quite a few things that I'd like to change though. Uh, one thing that I noticed with this Figma file is that each panel corresponds to its own text here in the lower left. Um, so as we can see it says stay on the move and then this panel here is highlighted and, it's and it says stay on the move. Um, so right now we have it so that when we hover over each panel, the color changes, but I also want each panel to highlight as we change slides. Um, so right now, if I preview the site um, in the browser, we can see the hover effect, uh, but if I change slides, we notice that we don't see those panels get darker. Uh, so what I want to do in today's jam session is assign a panel uh, to, to each slide, or make the panel get darker on each slide, and also add a slideshow here and have uh, this slideshow change on hover as well. So there's quite a bit to be done, so hopefully we can do it in five minutes. Um, so yeah, this is the live site. Here's this, the site in Webflow, and I just previewed here uh, the live site. So uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um, hopefully that was all clear, but as I go through the tutorial, you'll, you'll kind of get a feel for, for what I'm going for uh, for these effects. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'll start the timer and click Start. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna add uh, a bit of custom code. Um, so let's do that first. So I have uh, some more custom code here. And basically what I want to happen is that when I hover over uh, each, yeah, when I hover over each slide, I want the slide to change. Um, yeah, that's that's correct, okay, cool. Um, so yeah, I have this, this uh, code here. So, so right now, if we preview the live site, the slides don't change on hover, but when I hover, I want each slide to change. So um, I'll just grab the code here, and I'll go into the custom code um, in the before body tag, and I'll just paste this code uh, right after this the, the code that we entered previously. Um, so there we have the code, and all the code is doing is it's grabbing the slide, and we have to give each slide uh, an ID, and then when we hover over or no, we have to give each panel an ID, so slide one through five. And then when we hover over each panel, we're gonna target the specific uh, slide. Um, and this is kind of using the, uh, the round navigation at the bottom. So rather than the left and right arrows, we're using the round navigation to target, target the, specific, uh, the specific navigation. Um, and then it'll just click it. So when we hover over each panel, it'll change each slide. So um, I'll go ahead and click save. So if you notice here on the live site, there's these three dots and that's the dot navigation here at the bottom. So we're just basically using that code to say, hey, when we hover over each panel, click on one of these dot navigations. Um, so, so yeah, we have the code in there. So now when I, oh yeah, we also have to uh, give an ID to each right panel. So I'll select each panel and I'll give it an ID slide one through slide five. So slide two and then uh, slide three and slide four and slide five. Uh, so those are the IDs we added here in the code. So slide one through slide five. Awesome. So I'll publish, publish to selected domains and I'll preview. And now when I hover, the slide changes. Uh, so we only have three images here. Um, so yeah, that, that's that bit of code. Um, the bit of code added this and we also added the IDs to the panel. Um, so there's only three images, so I wanna add two more slides. Um, so I'll select the slide, uh, slider here, and I'll go ahead and add a slide. Let me open the mask. So we have slide four, and yeah, let me go ahead and drag uh, some new images here. So I'll drag and drop. So I just uh, kinda created three, three more images here, and looks good. So we have those images, so I'll get, go ahead and slide four, and I'll add a background image, uh, choose image, and I'll select this one here, cover and center, cool. So that's slide four, and let's go ahead and add one more slide. So we have slide five, nice. And I'll go ahead and select it here, and add an image, choose image, and I'll select this one here. Cool, awesome. So we have five slides, so now I'll go ahead and publish and preview. 
and awesome. So if you notice, uh, I don't know if it's uh, too visible here, but at the bottom we have the dot navigation, which I haven't hidden yet. So when I hover over each panel, we target that specific dot navigation. Uh, so in the code, if we look at the code again, so we're saying, okay, when we click on a, when we hover over a specific panel, we're targeting the nth child of the d uh, dot w round uh, div, uh, classes, which is the dot navigation. Um, so cool. So that's all set. So the next thing I want to do, and this part's going to take a little bit longer, so we might go over five minutes. I want um, each panel to be highlighted when I click through the slides as well. So right now, if I click through the slides with the left and right arrow here on the left, uh, the panels are not highlighted. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to use interactions. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the first slide, and we're going to use slider interaction. So I'll click on this slide here, go into interactions, click the plus, and I'll say on slider change, we're going to, yeah, slider in view, we're going to start an animation. I'll click the plus and I'll call this slide in one, or uh, yeah, slide one in. And then uh, when slide one comes in, we're gonna select this right panel and I'm gonna add uh, an, uh, yeah, timed action and I'm gonna change the background color to uh, black with an alpha of 40. All right, so that's my time, but I'll go ahead and complete this. So we, we will go over five minutes today, but that's okay because I do wanna kind of complete this in today's jam session. Okay, so we have that right panel. And rather than affecting a class, I'm gonna affect a selected element. So only this panel becomes uh, darker. And then we also wanna grab the plus icon and give the um, animation to that as well. So the background color, we're gonna change it to, uh, to white. And uh, for the easing, yeah, we're gonna say we're gonna say ease for these. So ease and a duration of 0.2. All right, that looks good. And the same for this right panel, we're gonna say ease and a duration of 0.2. All right, cool. And then this plus icon, we only want to affect the selected element. And I'll start it with the right panel. And then I want to go ahead and grab the horizontal and vertical lines. So I'll say. Um, background color here, change the color to black, and uh, say 0.2, and ease for the easing. And again, we only want to affect the selected element. So I'll start it there, and then the plus line vertical. So we'll change the background color, and change it to black, and duration of 0.2, easing of ease, and only the selected element. All right, cool. So we have the slide in, and then let's do first slide out. We'll start an animation. We'll duplicate the slide one in, and I'll click, and then we'll say slide one out uh, here. Okay, so then for the right panel, we'll just set it back to transparent right here, and then the plus icon, the background color, we're gonna set it to transparent, and then the, the lines here, we're gonna set it to white. So white and wait. All right, awesome. So now when we hover, when this slide comes in, the first slide comes in and, the, and then it goes out, um, it'll have the animation. So now if I preview, we can see that this panel is, um, is highlighted. And then if I go to the next slide, so let me publish this. So I'll preview. So when I go to slide one, we can see that that panel gets highlighted. And then when I click out, that panel is no longer highlighted but it also works on hover. So it works when I go into the slide and when I hover over the slide, which is exactly what I want to occur. So let's do that one more time for slide two. And then, um, yeah, and then tomorrow we'll add the slider in here on the left. So just one more time, and then I'll go through on my own time and kind of finish it out for the other slides, uh, just so this video doesn't get too long. Um, so now I'll go to slide two right in here. And also let me give this slide the class name slide one so it's consistent. All right, so then I'll go to slide two and go to the interaction and click the plus and I'll say slider change and we'll start an animation. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to, yeah, duplicate slide one in and I'll select it. And then for this, I'll say slide, slide two in. So now I wanna make sure that I grab the right elements. So here I'll right click on uh, this panel, so let me make sure, let's see, right panel, 
uh, yeah, right content, right panel. Okay, so we want to close this first right panel and select this one. So this is the second right panel. So here I'll click, I'll right, right click, change target, and I'll select this right panel. Okay, cool. And then again, we'll say selected element, and then yeah, right click, change target. I'll select this plus icon, and I'll just say selected element. Then I'll right click, change target. Let's see if I can grab the horizontal line. I can, perfect. I'll say selected element, and then right click, change target, and I'll grab the vertical line here, perfect. And I'll say selected element. Awesome, so that was easy enough. So now let me go back in here, and then for slider out of view, I'll start an animation, and I'll just duplicate the slide to in. So duplicate, and then I'll say slide to out. Okay, and then the right panel, uh, we'll just change the background color to transparent, plus icon to transparent, and the lines here to white. Okay, cool. So we did slides one and two, looks good. And awesome, so I'll publish and preview. And cool, so when we hover over slide two, so slide one, we can see that it has those panels changing. All right, so then we have to do three, four, and five, uh, but one and two look good. Awesome, and then when I hover, it does have the effect. So there's a lot of interactivity here with the site, it's looking good. We're getting everything synced up with the left and right arrows, um, as well as the hover. And then we'll sync it up with the content here in the lower left. So when the user hovers or changes slide, the content here changes as well. All right, so that's it for today's jam session. I know it was quite in depth. We did add some custom code um, to make sure that we can target the slide change when we hover over the different panels. I'll leave this code in the, in the description area below. Also, when you add the code, be sure to add the angled brackets here. Uh, YouTube doesn't let me add these angled brackets in the comment section. So just make sure to add these angled brackets to close and open the script tag um, to make sure that the code works. All right, so yeah, that's it for today's jam session. Um, so I'll quickly go to the web dev for you templates. Um, so these this could be a great way to get started quickly in Webflow. Um, if you'd like to start with a template, um, I have quite a few templates here. And also, uh, there's a discount code in the description area below, WFY-YouTube, where you can get 20% off uh, any of the templates here. All right, cool. Yeah, so that's it for today's jam session. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next jam session.